And I'm like, I'm like, man, this is really bad. Like, and then like I played J, I played uh, CJ. And I'm like, dude, CJ, CJ is a step up for me. If we're, if we're playing Mutt, he's beating my face in. Like, I know he is. Like, so he's up above me. And I'm thinking, like, and then we end up having this game. And I, I think it was probably the best, the best CF game I've ever played, ever in my years of Madden. Dude, I'm stoked for this week's against me and fucking Steel Team. We, and Steel team? Yeah, it, this game was like the game was so crazy because he had when he scored first. Oh, I scored first. I kicked the field goal, and we were just banging back. I mean, it was defense after defense. And my corner stops on well, because I have Jimmy Smith, and Jimmy Smith in this league is to the point where he's old and he's slow. He's not keeping up with anything. He stops dead, and he goes pew right over the top of my head, scores. So I'm I'm a little fired up. And then we're banging out, we're banging out, and I finally scored. I took it, I took over him. I got it, I got over, I, I go over top of him, and then he comes back, he comes back, and it's like it left me with like I think 50 seconds to score. I think I had like one time out or something like that. Yeah, and you came back. Oh my god. And then and then I came, I ended up throwing the one out. I threw I threw a pass out to the right side and I threw it back shoulder. So like he was the only person. That was going to catch the ball, that receiver. Like, there was nobody else catching the ball because of where I threw it. And he catches it one hand, and I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, I knew CJ was fired up off that catch. I couldn't believe he caught it. I had both y'all up. And then yeah. he, uh, and then he, he caught the, he caught it. And then I ended up getting down the field a little bit more. And then I'm like, okay, I have one play that I have not ran. And I, it, usually I run this play a couple times in the, in, in, in a game, but, I'm like, if I run this, CJ's gonna know this. Like, he's not stupid. He's really good at playing defense. And so I say, I literally say this route just in case I got into a situation. So I run this play, and I see, I see him back off. I see him back off, and I see the safety drift to the middle a little bit. I was like, dude, he's gonna be wide open. I'm just, I'm, I'm wailing this thing. I heave it up, and I throw it to Mike Evans in the back of the end zone, hit the hit the triangle button, and he brings it down. I was like, oh my god. And then my defense doesn't get pressure all game. Ends up having three sacks to put him down on the ground at the end of the game. I'm like, yeah, I saw the end of that one. That was. I'm insane. telling you, I'm telling you what, like those are the best games because yeah, that, sure. that game, especially when you're playing against one of your friends. You know what I mean? Like you get like yeah. like to for me beating CJ. I was like, I was on top of the world. I ain't gonna lie. I felt really good. I was pumped for like next hour. Like I couldn't even come down off of it. Like I was. I was stoked up because I think I even had a. Sh I, I did. I had to get, let's get sticky show right after it, and I was still amped up. Like it was, it was, it was nasty. Like those are the fun ones. Like if JG would have been drunk enough <laughs> to beat him that day, <laughs> you should have got him on on his twelve hour stream. I think you probably would have torched him on that one. Well, if you play, come on now. Um, but the. the Beautiful thing is, I don't care that I'm bad. I'm not yeah, here. As long as you're having fun, it's all that matters. I'm here to hang out with my friends. Um, yes, can I make a couple bucks to hang out with my friends? Yeah, I can. But I'd love to have bucks of paycheck to hang out with my friends. Ah, yeah. <laughs> paycheck and hang out with twenty people in my chat, dude. I would be in heaven. <laughs> I mean, I think I think we all get there at our own speed. You know what I mean? Like every some people catch on, some people get they get lucky to get into groups and people help out. And like, like I said, there's nothing there's nothing wrong with how it happens. Um, yeah. Like like you see, uh, Lauren, Yimmy, they they got caught on by the OG network. Great group of guys that are in that network, and they help each other out and they do things and. It helps bring attention to certain to them as streamers, because sometimes yeah. you wouldn't see these guys if there's no help, and that's the, and that's the thing, is I love that they work together to do what they're doing, and that's what I preach all the time is don't be afraid to work with somebody as long as you know that people are are going to be real, they're going to be organic with you, they're they're getting, you're not you know they're not there to use you to benefit themselves you know what i mean and that and that's the thing you as as you grow as you grow on this in this in this platform and stuff like that 
you tend to pick these people out and you know who they are. You know what I mean? So it's one of those things is as you learn who they are and what their, what their intentions are, you learn, well, okay, I'll work with this guy because I know he's not there just to get the clout and use me to get somewhere. He wants to actually work with me and build something. And that's what I preach to these guys coming in is know who you're working with, know who you're around, feel these people out before you just jump in and be like, Oh, well, yeah, that's my guy. And next thing you know, your guy jumps ahead of you and you're left behind. <laughs> oh, and, speaking of, I got some bad news for you, buddy. Well, not for me, maybe for them. I'm, I'm so sorry. I checked your follower count. You're out. I know I'm out. I'm, I've been out. No, you were in because I never could get you offline because you're always fucking online. That's my job, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? I got you offline yesterday. I was like, oh, I got to delete me. <laughs> sorry. It's all right because you know what? I'd rather go to somebody starting out. Dude, you were in because I can never catch your follower count. I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather go somewhere else where it could be, it could, like, I, like I said, I feel like I got a, a great base around me. I got a great group of people around me. And, I'd rather it go where something it could spark somebody's like confidence. You know what I mean? It could go. Those things are huge. Like you doing those 50 subs is somebody that like the only thing is the only thing that really bothers me with it. I'm on to be honest with you is that you announce it to everybody. And you get these people to jump in and like, I, 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 the, th the thing that gets to me is that, are these guys really putting in the work? Are they just talking to you to get these 50 subs? That's what gets to me. I actually checked a guy out last month and then got an argument with him. I'm not going to say a name. I said, dude, you have a stream in six months. You're out. And I was like, you're not, you're not putting in the work. You're out. And that's the thing is I would love to see yeah, like. Myself to, dude, every stream that is in that giveaway, I watch. And that, and that's what you got to do. And that's the thing. That's the thing is that you're out of it. You you don't even qualify, raw dog. <laughs> if I'm out, you're out. I mean, so basically, what he does is what, what I'm going to explain. What you do here. Uh, so what he does is Schuler, the guy that he is. He's probably one of the only people I've ever seen really do this. Besides you, raw dog, giving cards away and giving tons of shit away. One and only. Um. He, uh, what he does is he gets some streamers that are under a thousand followers, a thousand and down. And maybe they could be fresh. They could be guys just starting out. What he'll do is he gets these guys and he'll go watch them and he'll, he'll pick somebody randomly and he'll go donate 50. If they're affiliates, they have to be affiliate for it, but he'll pick somebody and donate 50 subs for them. You know what I mean? So that's 50 subs that somebody wins and they get in their channel. And that's what I said. I've, I'm have i cool. Like, I don't, like, I, I haggle him nonstop about it. You know what I mean? Like, I'll, I'll haggle, sure. Actually, you were in because I did not ever catch you offline to catch your <laughs> viewer account. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, for, for being near three, like, do I feel where, I, do I feel, like, like I said, I rode with the big guys. I rode up there with a lot of viewers. Like I said, I ruined it for myself. But, I didn't ruin for yourself, man. But you do, but do I? At the same time, is I'm kind of glad I did it. You know what I mean? I'm kind of glad I did it because of the fact that now I don't focus on it as much, and I just worry about the guys that are in my channel now. I worry about the people that are coming in every night and putting their time in. I don't focus like I was so focused. Like I, when I say I was focused on guys, like I was like I was down to the T every night. Who? How many did I gain? And I'm marking it down. I got a book where I marked how many guys I, how many people followed me in that in that stream, and kind of like tracking like, oh, did I grow this night or did I or did I fall behind this night? Like it was bad. Like it was it was so consuming that I forgot about all that stuff. You know what I mean? And that was the best part about it is that. I got kicked in the fucking nuts. I fell down as I got kicked in the nuts, smacked my face off the ground. You know what I mean? I smacked my face off the ground and it clicked in my head like, yo, dude, what are you doing? Get your fucking head right, bro. You know what I mean? Like, get your get, get back to what you do. And I've done that and I love it. Like, I love that part that was able to happen because now what is coming out of me is, is, is a way better content. My mind is way clearer and... I'm starting to be creative. And that's one of the things is, is when I tell, when I, 
don't, if you guys ever feel clouded, right? If I can give you any, any type of advice as a streamer, if you guys ever feel clouded in your brains or anything, like if you're clouded, you're struggling with things, like I'm, I'm struggling with content for a little bit besides the show. The show, I, I love it. I wish I could figure out something else to do with it and I'm trying to figure that out. But there's going to be a time and point in your streaming careers where you're going to get clouded. You're going to be like, okay, well, what do I do next? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? You're going to, you're going to question yourself. And it's going to, and it's going to, it's going to be like, it's going to consume every ounce. You're going to be at work and you're going to be thinking about this. The best thing you do is you got to go outside the box. You have to get outside your element. If, even if that's going for a walk, if you don't typically go for a walk every day, go for a walk. Go do these, go do, do, go do something that you don't typically do. Like, you know what I mean? Not, I'm not even, I'm, I'm not even talking like stream wise. That was a joke. Get out, of, get out of your house, get away from the streaming, go do something. Like if you got to go take a trip for a weekend or just something to just let loose and that you're not concentrating here, you have to do that at some point in time because yep. you will not be able to stay creative you will lose a lot of sanity and this shit will eat you. This will eat you alive. This, this is this streaming stuff is a monster. It's a monster in disguise. It is the, it is the worst hidden monster ever. If you allow it to be that monster. And I allowed that. And like I said, you guys have to, you guys will feel it. You'll know when it's there. It fucking sucks. And I know raw raw I'll attest to it because I'll tell you what pisses me off the most. That man, the man, what he's done in the Madden community, and he also bench pressed the guy. What he does, what he did in this community, you guys got to understand what this man's done in this community, though, because most of you guys are new to are new to coming into the community and don't know exactly. Like you guys know Raw Dog, you can probably watch him, but you guys got to understand what he's done. That that man's done more giveaways in this community than anybody I know. He's given, I wouldn't, I I couldn't even imagine how much money that he's put out into this. To this community but what pissed me off the most is when he said i'm done with the madden community right he said he's done with the madden community because it was it was getting bad for his health right so it's getting bad for his mental state everybody on that goddamn platform or twitter oh i'll back you up i'll back you up i'll be in your stream i'll be there da, 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 da. the fuck if they did it i told him i told him straight i said raw i got you no matter what the fuck you're playing I might not be able to chat nonstop because we kind of stream at the same time, but I'm in his chat. I'm, I'll put that dude on alert. And that's the thing is that that's what pisses me off because he doesn't play a fucking game. He doesn't see, he doesn't see the views that he used to. And that's, that's the type of, that's, that's why I always tell you guys, I don't give a fuck. Like I want, I, I'd rather have my loyal people than have a hundred people in here all day long. You know what I mean? Yep. Because I want to, if I want to go play something else, I want, I want you guys here for me. And yep. I want you guys, the same thing is I want you guys to have fun with it. Cause when you guys, like, if you guys continue to, everybody's going to grow. Like you got Deeksters growing like crazy. You got Jimmy growing like crazy. They're hot right now. Now is the time where they have to figure out how do, how do I keep it going up? You know what I mean? And that's the thing. They got to figure out how to keep going up because it will plateau. This success that they are having right now will go like this. It will go from here and it will go whoop and it will do this. So the next thing is how do you pop it back up? Because it happens to everybody. And at, when it does that is when your mind is really going gonna, is, is gonna to be a challenge. You're going to have to figure that all out. And you are the only one that's going to figure that out. That's why I try. I, I'm glad I could actually get this conversation because right now is the time for you guys to start thinking about that. So you don't hit it as hard because when you, when you guys are used to seeing what you're seeing, I don't care who you are. You know what you're seeing. There's not a person. I don't care how many times you turn it off. You will go eventually check and check your analytics in your stream. You will check that analytics. There's not a person in streams that doesn't check their analytics. If you tell me you don't check your analytics, you're a damn liar. Yeah, everybody I, does it. Everybody does it at some point. I do it and I'm time. telling you, I'm gonna tell you. If you guys listen to anything I tell you, take that thing up, bro. Take it up. Don't don't let it get to. Don't let it hit that plateau hard because you won't know what to do at that time. Now is this? You got to get ahead of it. 
because it's going to come. Like you, you, you may face it in Madden 21. You guys may easily face this in Madden 21 because you're, everybody knows what your content is. And that's what I said. You got to dig somewhere inside of it and find that other niche. Like you got like Deekster's got jukebox hero. He's got the CFM league thing going on. Like he's got now is where he's got to start finding that next thing to implement to keep it going up. And Deek is honestly, in my opinion, just as a as a new streamer, if you want an example of how to expand, Deek is the shit. Uh, I give Deek I give Deek a hundred percent credit. Like the way he runs his stream, it's unreal. Dude, I, I I'm gonna be honest, Deek. I love you, but I'm fucking jelly. I mean. <laughs> Shit you do is just so it, it, it is so original. Not, it, maybe not original because you know damn well, um, you know where you've got it. I've heard you talk. I've I've watched you long enough. I know where you got the ideas. The level you took it to was so much higher. Like you went from here <laughs> and took it to here, and I'll be honest, um, as a single guy by himself. Never ever underestimate the power of your support. Tree man, you're just mad because I beat you. <laughs> <laughs> Never <laughs> underestimate the power of your support. Um the guys that are backing you, the wife, the kids that are backing you, never underestimate that shit. Because everything I do, I have to come up with on my own. Which is why my shit is just the usually me just getting mad. Um it's what I do. But like Deke, Deke's like, oh well, okay, well Junior came up with this and Misty came up with this. I'm like, ah, huh. pardon me. <laughs> but that, well, and that's why, that's why, I, that's why I say this, like, because not you got to understand too, though. I have a family, I have a wife, I have three kids. Not everybody is supportive like that. Like that is a different breed over there. <laughs> like, like me and my me and my wife, we went back and forth. We 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 back and forth it for. A while, really. We we really did. We back like and it, and it it sucks that we went that way because my wife my wife was one of those people that don't she didn't understand it. You know what I mean? And so it was it was more like we got into the spot where it was learning. She got. I'm like, look, I'm making pay- money. I'm making <laughs> money. I'm paying bills with it, right? But she. She still didn't, she didn't get it. She, and and it took, like I said, it was one of those things we had to come together and work. Like she still sometimes is like, look, it's not a job. I'm like, but it is. I'm like, but it is to me is what I like to do. I love doing this. I love being able to do this. And I don't stream at a certain time on a certain day. I never want this to be a job. Well, it's what I do full time. You know what I mean? Like this is, I am. I got to that point where my my shoulder my shoulders got banged up. I can't do what I used to do, and I'm not somebody that wants to sit behind. Like I know I sit behind a desk now, so it's probably gonna say like it's gonna probably be bad. But like, uh, I don't want to sit behind a desk and push pencils, bro. Like, I want to sit behind a desk and enjoy what I do and be able to help people. I, I love and enjoy helping people get to where they want to get to, even yeah. if it takes me longer. Like I, like I said, I've been denied partner six times. I've had the numbers. I've had the numbers. I can show you guys streams where I'm running with hundreds of people every stream. Like I literally had the numbers. They're trolls from back. Dude, these trolls are showing up. They're the guys coming from, from when I first started. No word of a lie. That's why I just banned them. But if you like sea bass, you have to kick ass. I mean, it, it's in the name, kick ass sea bass. I mean, but, come on. Like so, like it's like to me. Man from chat, <laughs> really? <laughs> so, <You> fuckers. <laughs> but like so, like, like when I say it, like it took us, it took me and my wife to, a long time to kind of get on <laughs> the right page. And like now, my wife, she wants to get involved with it more. Like she wants to help me more. But like I'm like, look, you're going to school full time. Like this girl, I, I can't, I can't. Put her high enough on a pedestal and tell her enough the work that she does because this girl went from not finishing school to getting a GED to going to college, got three degrees right now, and got another one in the works. Like literally got another one in the works. 
for a master's degree. She's getting ready to have her master's and she's going to have another one. I think at the end of this year, maybe next year, something like that. She's going to have two master's degrees, two Show bachelors. Off. I mean, a bachelor and two associates. Show off. <laughs> like, and, 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 and she just got a big promotion at work. Like, the- like she's like, that's what I said. I'm like, look, I try to tell her, I'm like, look, I know you want to help me, but you have, you got to stop adding more and more to your plate. Focus on what you're doing. I'll figure this shit out. <laughs> and yeah, with, like in the man community, <laughs> your better half stops in, even for like half an hour, 45 minutes, like to give people the feeling of family. Because a lot of us, just speak for me, but what I'm a lot of us are single guys. And Deke, you might be able to back me up on this. But when you give that feeling of family to a stream, be it the missus or the kid or whatever, dude, most of us eat that up. Yeah, I mean, and I'll tell you what, it, like, it's like, hey, I'm ugly fucker. Hey, I'm- yeah, I mean, and that's the thing is, like, I love it. You know what I mean? I, I honestly love it for the fact that, like, I don't see very many of my friends that I grew up with and come in my chat and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like I have, they know it's all on, they know it's all on. It goes to Facebook. Every time I go live, it goes to Facebook, it goes to, it goes to Instagram, it goes to Twitter. It goes, it goes all over the freaking place. Yeah. And the thing is, is when you see that, like my kid, my, my son, I mean, you guys all know my son. And to have my son come in here and he loves it. Like he eats it up. Like he has his own emote and all that stuff. You know what I mean? And he's like, I want to see this. I want this. You know what I mean? And he loves it. And he'll come down here and he'll push the Hawk button. I have a Hawk button on here. Cause he's, he's a huge Hawk man. Like I am. And he wants to hear a Hawk smash. And like, he loves getting in it. And that's the thing is that's when I talk answer. about it, when I talk about this, it's not easy. Like we, me and my wife struggle on, on this all the time. Like I have a hard time with um balance trying to get trying to balance it because my kids are young my kids aren't deep kids age my kids are four eight and nine you know what i mean so it's it's hard yeah it's hard to get it's hard to give my wife time it's hard to give my little guy my little guy my little guy wants he's me every time he's in the store he's trying to find something that i wear and he wants to wear it we have we we i was looking at shoes the other day because i haven't had I, I wasn't, you know what I mean? Like I had, I haven't had, I haven't bought shoes in a while. And so I'm looking at a pair of shoes. He's like, dad, I like those. We should get the same shoes. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> I was like, I was like, you know, like, I wasn't trying to spend all that kid. <laughs> and he's like, like if you had a bitch here from the old lady to come down here and smack you in the back of the head. I, I had, I'm, I'm telling you, like we, we have the same shoes and everything, man. It, it's so it's like, it's a, it's not even the fact of who it is. It's a connection. It's the family. Yeah, it definitely is. It, I, and I, like I said, it's like to I have see one that. Family, I just don't <sighs> have. <laughs> you, you have a family. You got us. Fuck you, mean. None of y'all are going to come over and smack me in the back. Actually, if you want to spend the money to get a I'm not that. Day, I'm not that far from you. Nah, you ain't. You're a couple hours. Exactly. I can drive and give you a good, good old smack in the back of the head. I'm, I'll shave your head in the back too, just so I can smack you harder. And it cracks. Back. <laughs> but i mean like i said like it's it's just to see to see us all grow and we all kind of like you know what i mean we all get we all we all are starting to get to a personal you know what i mean get to that personal age see that's how dumb you guys are like they're trying to troll me with my old address what idiots <laughs> fucking noodles guys like like i don't even live there no more <laughs> but like all of us guys are getting on a different level like we're all starting to get on personal levels we'll talk to each other yeah. outside of the streams we it's, it's more than just us connecting on streams like i know i know like prodigy he's going up to see jg in august like so yeah. like there's this different connection oh god look at this they got a hype train going there's the yeah. hype train yeah. <laughs> I don't have one of them. I gotta get one of them. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Shoulder's dancing. <laughs> they're all okay, so I don't know why they're coming out the woodwork, but literally, okay. So I'll take you guys back to so you guys understand what's going on in the chat. 
<laughs> when I first started streaming, I had my own lawn business before I tore my shoulder up. So I had my address up on Facebook. And these trolls, these trolls went hard and they found me on, on Facebook. And they found my address and they would call pizza places, Chinese places, all these places, order food. These oh. guys, and they would show up with food. The, the places. Oh, so I got I got to this point where <laughs> so we got to this point where I'm like, I'm telling you guys at the point of my look. I'm going to show you my chat so you understand what's going on. And literally had to get the cops involved in it because it wouldn't stop. And they started saying stuff about my wife and getting all crazy with it. Um, So, like, it got to a point, like, and, and, like, it was was bad. So, we had, like I said, that's where it's all coming from. These guys are, they have 100 million names. They're going to keep coming in. I just keep banning them. So... That's where it came from. Like literally, they got my they got my phone number. They were calling my phone and everything. I had to change numbers and everything. It was it was nutty. So I'm a dumb, crazy fucking head bully. Some me people. I mean, they did send it, but they didn't pay for it. That was the shitty part. I did get a free soda one time because I guess there's a law. I don't know if it's all over the world, but I know in PA, if they bring you a soda, they can't take it back because it's some kind of food. Thing, so I did get a free soda one night. If it's a, uh, if it's a uh, fountain drink, they can't. No, it's not a fountain drink. They couldn't. They can't take two liters back either. I don't yeah, know if it. I mean, no, it's PA. It's it PA might. Fountain. It might be a PA law because I know they can't do it. They they literally they well we can't take this back because of blah blah blah. I'm like okay. PA law where there's a six pack store, a beer distributor, like you have all y'all have some dumb shit. Yeah, I mean, hey, I, I don't know. I stay in my house. <laughs> I don't go nowhere. This is laid back, not bad. Schuler. No, this is Schuler. This is like hanging out with Smee Schuler. This is not the first conversation <laughs> like this me and Smee have had. <laughs> oh, look at that. Lamborghini said, text him, text him your address. You'll get Domino's right now. Hell yeah. Look at that. Free, free pizza. He's, I think that's what he's doing. Free dinner tonight. <laughs> I ain't coming up to fucking send my address to Lamart. I'm not even long enough. I mean, it's, I mean, I mean, if you want to send pizza or something, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't need either. I'm <laughs> fucking raw dog. But I mean, honestly, I mean, community. I don't know the old community, man. But this you don't want to know that one. This shit going on in chat right now. Look at this. That's what I'm saying. You don't want to know. I, I don't want to know the old community anymore. <laughs> these are the guys. These are the guys that if you were actually having a mental breakdown on stream, being upset, six of these fuckers will send you their damn cell phone number and tell you to call them. These are good people. This is why I lo- I could not get away from streaming. This is the reason I do my giveaways. Because look at this shit. Read it. These are guys that are good fucking people. I don't give a shit about the gameplay. The gameplay could be ass. Oh, wait, the gameplay is ass. Um, You're not guy. a dick? That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> you're, 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 you're one of those ones you call good. You're like, you're like, a, you're like a Sour Patch Kid. Who? Raw Dog. Uh, yeah. I'll be honest. I don't know Raw Dog that well. Raw Dog is a Sour Patch Kid. You know what I mean? He starts out. He starts out sweet. He start. He starts out. He starts out. He starts, especially when he's playing with DJ. If he's playing with DJ and them guys on on Apex or anything like that, he starts out. He starts out sweet, and then he gets real sour real quick. With those guys. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's hilarious. You got to watch him when he's playing with those guys, bro. Oh my god! I just. You know what? We're gonna do this right now. We're gonna follow. Raw dog, because I do not even follow raw dog. I feel bad. I die. Like I, I get, I get so, I laugh so hard. I'm like, man, there's. I could only imagine if I got in a game with him, what he would do to me. <laughs> you fucking idiot! What are you doing? Why are you rotating that way? You piece of shit. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, I follow you. I, I, I don't think I follow you on Twitter, but I watch you on Twitter. It's like, okay, I don't, I don't even follow him too much. Eh. Like you're a staple. 
But I mean, these guys, <laughs> look at look at the names. It's always the same names, man. <laughs> and you always say you're not a part of the BCOT, but look at these names. <laughs> it's the same guys in every stream. It's the same community, no matter if you're in the BCOT or you're not. It doesn't matter what fucking stream team you're on. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You guys. They're in this stream are the reason I fucking would. They're awesome. I mean, I mean, that's probably the best way you can put it. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, if, if you look at it, I mean, I don't know. I Like, I thought about changing it up completely. You know what I mean? Like, going to, going to, like, going to role play and doing role play of GTA. I've thought about doing just like strictly going back to Fortnite where I started and had a lot of success. Hey. Oh, whoa. whoa. Oh, no. Oh. Who remains back there? Raw Dog. Here we go. Oh, no, Raw Dog. You're a big boy. I don't know if I'm about that life. <laughs> What you call him, Daddy? Uh, um, that's what he would be called. You ever see how big he's bigger than I think he's bigger than me. <laughs> I could, I probably, I probably could have did that before my shoulders, but I probably would, I, I, my shoulders would probably fall like out from under me, and the guy would land on my head, and I'd be dead with a broken neck or something. <laughs> I mean, I, I was a strong guy. I was a strong guy before all my, my shoulders got messed up. Like, I benched 315 five times. I could bench two, what was it? I think it was 225. I was benching for 18 times for three sets. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I was pretty strong. Like, my, 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 my upper, my strength was more in my legs, though. I was always a leg person because of playing, like, I played linebacker and linebacker and, yeah, see, I probably I probably in the sixes. The fastest I ran a forty was four yeah. nine. That was as fast as I ever ran. I was I'm I'm more of a power guy. I was always a power dude. Yeah. I was a hitter. I I like to hit people, and I just like to like when you give me the football to run, I go forward. I don't go sideways. I'm I'm north and south. Teeth. Yeah, I'm north and south guy. Yep. I got a story for you on that one. Bench so, press the GI Joe. <laughs> when I was in when I was in high school. It was my sophomore year. My best friend. Sophomore year, I weighed like 105 pounds. My best friend was an offensive lineman. the One of the biggest in the state of West Virginia. He was horrible at his job. He was fucking trash. But he was a big boy. He weighed 365 pounds. Oof. So, I was walking to the Votech. Um, for those not in West Virginia, that's the vocational center where the dumbasses like me took classes. He ran over at lunch, jumped on my back. Jumped, which was like two inches. Because he's 365 pounds. He's really <laughs> good. Um, landed on my back. Weighed 105 pounds. And I might, I, we'll give Ben for the doubt. I weighed 120 at the time. We'll say I weighed 120. Jumped on my back. Just pulled you. No big deal. Caught him. Actually, I kissed him on the neck when he did it, which made it really awkward. Um, <laughs> kept walking. My other buddy, I would say DJ was. We'll call him. We'll call him skinny and say two hundred pounds. Jumped on his back because he wanted to be a dick. There's no, there's another way. He was just a fucking asshole. Um, he jumped on C's back and put me to my knees. <laughs> that doesn't sound I'm good. Down to my fucking knees. <laughs> so I have 200 pounds, 360 pounds. I have 550 pounds on my fucking back. My knees hit the concrete. I still have a scar. Um, what really fucked everybody's head up is when I stood up with 560 pounds on my back. <laughs> Some people got legs, man. I still. Pay the price. Don't Terry, be tough. Tear me. <laughs> no, my back still hurts. My knees still hurt. <laughs> far from it. But you know what? I still got the goddamn respect. 
<laughs> was it awkward because he didn't kiss back? <laughs> I, mean, I expect at least a little like cup. I mean, he's on my back. At least play with my. At the time, I didn't have boobs, but I'm I'm over forty now, so I got boobs. <laughs> uh, my hair, or you know, anything like that would have been great. It would have been great. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have hair. Believe it or not, I had long hair in high school. You pre- did you wear a mullet? Negative. I wore. <laughs> a- I wore a dumb poor hillbilly did not have his hair paper haircut haircut, which is just hair everywhere. Uh, I thought you had. I, I I figured you had like the the Billy Ray Cyrus going on. Nah, dude. I lived in a trailer park. We couldn't afford hair. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my! I wish I had the sound bite from Eminem. I live at home in a trailer. I ain't got no place to go. <laughs> Eight miles. Oh my god! Love uh, <laughs> so, yeah, dude, I couldn't afford a fucking ball. I had, I just had hair growing. That shit got to be about that fucking long on top of my head. You guys see me now? My hair was you put in, that's why that's why you got a receding hairline now. You had that shit in a ponytail, didn't you? I couldn't afford rubber bands. I was living on a trail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm fucking dead, bro. <laughs> that was, that was a round steak, you know? Yeah, the a, Napoleon <laughs> Dynamite. <laughs> yeah, dollar steak, I mean. Hell, I don't got no goddamn rubber bands. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> He said he tied his hair with fishing fishing line. Bread ties growing up poor in white West Virginia. No, don't get me going on bread ties. <laughs> the bread ties. Oh my god. Don't get me going. That's fucking hilarious. What color was there? What color was the bread tie? It depends. What, what when when the bread got delivered? Because I thought then those bread ties don't they go like uh I thought they, they the bread ties tell you what day that was delivered. Well, isn't that a thing? It's the twist tie shit. Yeah, but don't they're different colors. Yeah, doesn't that tell you what day they, they isn't that how they tell you what day got they got delivered? No, it was by brand. Oh. I thought there was a thing where it was like uh You like the blue twist eyes were the good bread? And if you had like the fucking orange or yellow twist eyes, because I'm colorblind. The orange or yellow twist eyes, you had some fucking really broke parents. <laughs> red ties are not all red. What are you talking about? There's yellow, there's white, there's blue, there's green. There, the, yeah, there's different ones. Back in the day, it was plastic. <laughs> from Alaska. He don't even know what the fuck bread is. He's eating all them crabs. <laughs> Me too, but that's a different story. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Were they good ones? Were they Maryland blue crabs? <laughs> Let that go. <laughs> we ain't gonna me. We ain't gonna let you get, we ain't gonna let you get banned. <laughs> hey, it's called raw and unedited, baby. <laughs> if you pick them fuckers out of your teeth, they ain't that good. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I ain't never experienced that. <laughs> Boy, ramp is the best thing in the world. Thank you so much for the ramp. Okay. We're gonna go to rant here. Because it's Schuler. That's what we do. Rant. That's what I thought. There was one for every day. See, Captain Joe knows. Well, shit, well, apparently there's fucking cheap bread. Got to the gas station by the house that I had to walk toward. <laughs> Roast beef. <laughs> ain't nobody messing with no beef, bro. Only you. It ain't bad unless the cheese is rotten. Oh, this guy. <laughs> he must have oh. must have been messing with that rotten cheese. <laughs> <laughs> It happens. We all been drunk before, right? Um, I don't know if I want to touch that one. <laughs> we're on a ramp rant. For all the people that are never, ever going to ever go to West Virginia, there's this wonderful plant in West Virginia called a ramp. If you're Italian, what is a ramp? What is that? And I'm going to explain it to you. A ramp is this beautiful thing. It grows for what, uh, Roy? It's Four months out of the year, you cannot harvest it. I mean, you can't you can't farm it. You, you have to go get it wild. It's a mix between onions 
and garlic. It is a perfect mix. Every inch of this plant is edible. You can use the leaves in making soup beans. You can use the head of the ramp. It's like a green onion. It looks like a green onion. But it tastes like a mix between garlics and onion. There's nothing like it. It is the most beautiful thing that God is an atheist. I'm an atheist. It is the most beautiful thing God ever graced the earth outside of beer. <laughs> it, 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 I don't eat weed, but I don't smoke. Um, <laughs> it is this. It's not like a wild onion. It's nowhere near like a wild onion cash. It's got different leaves. You can eat the damn thing from the leaf to the stalk to the head. Oh my God. Heavenly. And you pay big money outside of West Virginia. In West Virginia, you can pay like two bucks and get like five pounds. But all you dumb fucking like out of state people, big money. They're, uh, they're amazing. They, they're worth every penny. So what do you, you, do you just eat? You just eat it by itself or do you actually use it like to cook with and stuff? Me or other people? I, I mean, I don't know what the fuck it is, so I'm just asking. Like, I'm, I'm, do you do like? I mean, like, is it like taking an onion, cutting it up, and throwing it on a steak? You're supposed to cook with it. I just eat them. <laughs> but we all know I'm fucked up. So, I mean, like, do is it something like you would put on like a steak? Like you would saute it up and put on a steak or anything like that? Like, ramps are amazing. They're most famous for potatoes and eggs mixed together. They're a great if if you Google like ramps and eggs or ramps and potatoes. I'm gonna have to look this up. Yeah. Uh, now things on the face of the earth. I mean, you just basically like blew your load on the get sticky show over this thing. So you know, <laughs> I'm gonna have to look this thing up. Cause if it's that good, I'm gonna have to give it a taste. Cause I'm I like garlic and I like onions. So yeah, R A M P S, just like it sounds, ramps. And they keep, dude. If you know how to keep them, they keep forever. So now, for you, like, what, what, is, what is your plans like for your stream, like your stream career? Like, I have any fucking plans? Come on, man. You gotta have something coming up. You gotta have I some thought. Plans. Um, and I do. I did say I have a big announcement tonight, but we're gonna wait for the very end for this. So let me know whatever you want to end because I'm on now some shit. I got you. I got you. Um, my plan is just to keep hanging out with you, dumb fuckers. Hey, um, why I gotta be dumb? <laughs> hang out with me. Well, no, I I like who you are. It doesn't make me dumb. <laughs> um, no, I I mean, dude, I love the community. I everybody always says, oh, I do. I don't want to make any money. I I just want to uh, bullshit. Bull fucking shit. Um, you're not doing this to be broke. Um, technically, the way I guess I do it, I am doing this to be broke. But <laughs> friends, make friends, and that's my entire thing. Is I just want to hang out with my friends, and I love the fact that I can sit here and play my game, make more friends, and more friends hang out with me. Maybe it'll take me 20 years to make anything more than 100 bucks a month. I don't give a damn. Um, every month that I make my sales bonus at work, <laughs> I will do my giveaways. And I don't care if I get recognition for it. I don't, I mean, I do like the recognition. I ain't gonna lie. I do like it. <laughs> I love the really good comments. Fucking make my day. I love it. Um, But I don't care. I mean, dude, my average viewer is like four, four to six viewers. I'm okay with that. I don't care. But I want get Vox's paycheck. Ah, fucking a right. Who doesn't? You say you don't. You're a liar. Um. But I just want to hang out with my friends, play a game that I hope to God next year is a lot better than this year. Um. And no. help. I don't know about that. It was two years in a row. Play, play good games, hang out with friends, and help grow the community. That is my entire plan. I don't really give a damn. <laughs> sounds, sounds like a good plan to me. Um, um, like I said, off. like I mean, like I said, like everybody has their own niche and the way they want to do things. And 
how they want to go about things. So no, no way is the wrong way. You know what I mean? Because like I said, if you're not doing something your own way, then it's gonna most likely you're not going to get what you want out of it or you're just going to get stale. 